Hi everyone, Talia from Zart Art and today we're going to be making sponge printed poppies. So what we'll be creating is a watercolour effect where we'll be using our sponges and these artline sticks which are water soluble textures to create layers so it's going to look like a field of poppies in a watercolour style. So the materials here I've got uh, just three different shaped sponges. If you don't have your own sponges like this you can cut some out of just a normal kitchen sponge and some scissors. If you don't have water soluble textures you can use food dyes, watercolours, anything that's water soluble that you can apply to the sponge and here we've just got our spray mister, a black pen, a white pen and a brush. We're going to be using cartridge paper. This is a fairly thick cartridge paper so it will hold a bit of water and now all I'm going to do is apply texture onto the sponge, spray it with our mister and then create a little bit of a background. So what you can do as well is just create a few different tones on your sponge. So the warm colours I have here are an orange, a light pinkish tone, as well as a red. So this will just create a little bit of variation in the colour. So I'm just going to spray my sponge as well as a little bit on the paper, just so this first layer will spread a little bit more. So as you're dabbing with your sponge, you might want to press lightly. You might want to twist the sponge a little bit too and then you'll get some different kinds of patterns happening. So we just want to create a little bit of a background layer. So we're overlapping these large sponge shapes. And then I'll just apply a little bit more color and do the other side. So now we've got our larger shapes for our background. Now I'm just going to repeat the same process with some smaller sponges to create a layered effect of flowers. So just the same process, just going from my larger sponge to my smaller sponge and doing the exact same thing. you're wanting your colours to be a bit more vibrant then just apply more texture after you've done a stamp or two and then you'll get some really nice vibrant reds and you'll have the softer colours as your background. So now that we've got our prints on our paper and as you can see we've got our lighter tones towards the back with the larger sponge, that's just through adding a bit more water than you do to these smaller prints which look like they're coming more towards the foreground. So what we're going to do is just let that dry for a minute or two and then we're going to go over these circular shapes with our pen, so our black pen. If you have a white pen or a white pencil then you can use that too to add a little bit more detail but it's not absolutely necessary. So just with your black marker, all I'm going to do is pick out some of the shapes which are more towards the foreground and just add things like stems, leaves, just the centre of the flower, just to make them more apparent that they are poppies. So you don't have to do it with every single print that you've made, but just pick out a few and then really accentuate those flower shapes.
So for this next part, which is optional, if you do have a white pen or a white pencil, all I'm going to do is just add a few more details, like some petal shapes, some more spots in the center of the flower, just to really accentuate those shapes. Now for the last step, all I'm going to do is use one of my green markers and just add a little bit of greenery to those stems. Now what you can do if you are using water soluble markers, just use a brush to blend in that green a little bit. And once you've finished adding a little bit of green, then you've got your finished poppy field. So this is a really simple printing lesson that you can do with a variety of different materials. So you don't have to use the exact materials that I've used here. You can use food dyes, you can use inks or watercolors, but it's a really nice way of going about printmaking. And if you wanted to link the symbolism of the poppy to Anzac Day or Remembrance Day, then that's a good link into those topics as well. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Thank you.